investors and traders, and welcome to the weekly market report with the market guys. I'm AJ Monty. We are in a very interesting time here at the end of May, and you may very well have heard the old saying, sell in May and go away. This is a chart of the diamonds, which is the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF ticker symbol DIA. And if I zoom in here, you'll see a couple of interesting things again is that we have a downward leg forming here and the volume is increasing down here so when you see volume increasing in the direction of the trend that is an increase in the momentum of that trend because we have more sellers coming in and that is putting more force into the market so the next support level for the diamonds is going to be down here right around 177 which could be another 300 point lower for the Dow and so I'm going to keep these lines in place for you so we can check those next week and if I go back and look at some of the other charts that we normally cover you'll see that these lines as well are from last week and like clockwork the market is following the technical signals remember last week I had this as resistance and down here is my forecasted trend the price is following that trend nicely and we still have gaps down below the market with the next support level for RUT right here right around 1220 now looking at the spiders this is the S&P 500 ETF you can see that the volume is also increasing in the direction of this downward move and we came very close to having a bearish engulfing pattern on the spiders so the next support level is going to be really the trend line that has been forming as I connect these lows. So we have a little bit of a triangle here. And what I think is going to happen is I think the S&P is going to break out to the downside and could very well trigger some stops in the market that could push us a little bit lower. So my caution flag is still waving high. I would strongly recommend that you protect yourself with sell stops below the market in any positions that you have and be mindful of the technical signals that are coming up especially when we start breaking down below support levels now if you look at the Q's this is the NASDAQ market you'll see ticker symbol QQQ again my lines are left up here from last week we hit resistance this was my forecasted leg lower Again, you can see the volume now starting to increase on these negative candles with a doji forming yesterday, which is usually a pivot point. So all of the other indices are following suit here with the arrows pointing lower and negative bearish signs popping up all over the place. So there's a couple of things that are really attractive, and I mentioned those to some of our equity traders. The precious metal sector looking very good. The U.S. dollar looking very bearish, but those two are obviously inversely related. So when the dollar goes down, the precious metals usually go up. When the dollar goes down, the Dow usually goes down. So those are directly related. So be very careful that you're not stacking your position to the buy side too heavily because that could wind up costing you some profits as the market moves through and makes its correction. I talk quite a bit about the VIX that's a volatility index and I left my lines here this was my forecast in that I believe that the VIX is going to break out to the upside on this triangle the VIX is inversely related to the S&P so if the VIX breaks out and goes higher the S&P will also go lower so these are some of the things you really have to watch out for the VIX is a is very much a leading indicator and something you should put on your watch list and keep an eye on now if you're interested in some of the market guys services then feel free to visit us at www.themarketguys.com if you have a question about our trade alert service or if you're maybe interested in mentoring I do take on clients I will not have any openings until mid June but you can still put your name down on a on a waiting list if you like but to reach me or my partner Bill you just go to contact link right there put in your name your email and I'll be sure to get back with you I'll set up a one-on-one -on -one phone call with you to 
find out what your needs might be, and then let's see if we could put a plan together to help you meet your financial goals and accelerate maybe what you have on the table already. I love helping people retire a little bit earlier than expected. That always gets people excited. So that's the weekly market report from the market guys. Have a great weekend, and we'll speak with you soon. So long.